Hey everybody, this is the How To Guys, and we're going to be showing you today how to replace the battery on your iPad 4 Wi Fi version. Access to the iPad is through the front digitizer, so we'll have to pry that up from the device. It's glued down, so we need to use a microwavable rice bag to heat the edges of the iPad, heating up the glue, allowing us to get tools between the digitizer and the bezel. You can buy these tool sets online, a link is below, or you can use credit cards, a razor, or guitar picks. There's a weak spot in the glue about an inch and a half down from the upper right corner of the iPad. So start in this corner, working your way around the, cor the edges of the iPad. You want to be very careful around the camera, the home button, and the Wi-Fi antenna which is just to the right of the home button on the bottom edge. Do not slide your tools in these areas. The digitizer screen can be very fragile so make sure not to bend or torque it in a strange way. Make sure that all the glue is released all the way around before you start to lift the digitizer up off of the frame of the iPad. Flip it over but make sure to keep the ribbon in the lower left hand side intact. Next, unscrew the four screws holding down the LCD screen and flip the LCD screen over onto the digitizer. With the LCD flipped, you can see the power ribbons that attach from the motherboard to the digitizer and to the LCD. You'll need to pop these power ribbons out of their sockets by prying up on the little plastic black piece and then pulling the ribbons backwards out. This will release the digitizer and the LCD screen and you can move them out of the way while you work on the rest of the iPad. These ribbons are fragile so be sure not to use metal tools against them and do not rip them or you'll have to buy replacement parts. Underneath the LCD ribbon you'll find the power ribbon that goes to the iPad camera. Release this ribbon as well. We'll have to release all the ribbons that are attached to the motherboard because we have to take the motherboard out in order to get the battery out. The battery is the bottom component in the iPad. In the lower left corner of the iPad you'll find the ribbons connecting the home button and the Wi-Fi adapter to the motherboard. Release these. You can remove the home button, but leave the Wi-Fi adapter in place. This will not be in the way of removing the battery. Next, unscrew the screws holding in the motherboard to the frame of the iPad. There will also be one screw attaching the motherboard to the battery where the battery ribbon enters the motherboard. You'll need to unscrew this screw as well. Then, using your tools for opening the digitizer, you must release the glue that's underneath the battery. Pry up the battery and remove it from the iPad. Your replacement battery should have sticky strips on the bottom of it that you need to pry up before placing the new battery where the old battery was. Set it down and gently push down on it to get the strips to stick into place. Then place the motherboard back over the battery and start by screwing in the screw that holds the battery ribbon to the motherboard. Then screw in all the other screws on the motherboard to anchor the motherboard in place. Once the motherboard is back in place, we can reattach the Wi-Fi adapter ribbon put the home button back on and reattach that ribbon and then reattach the ribbon for the camera which will go under the LCD ribbon. Now we have all the components back together except for the digitizer and the LCD screen. Move the digitizer and the LCD screen back next to the rest of the iPad. Move them into the correct position and then attach the digitizer ribbon followed by the LCD ribbon. Flip the LCD back over into place and secure it with the four screws. Next, we will have to add new sticky tape to 
the digitizer. The picture you've just seen shows the orientation for these strips depending on if you have an iPad 3 or 4. You want to stick the strips onto the digitizer and then pull off the sticky tabs, clean the screens, and then flip the digitizer over onto the LCD. Use a soft cloth to push down on the digitizer all the way around to make sure that the sticky strips are adhered. And you're done. Good luck. Please subscribe.